everyone. 8 12 ish time. Time for Let's Talk Antiques on this Wednesday morning. 42 degrees is your current temperature. Mostly cloudy for today. High 61. Rain likely tonight. Low down to 47. Rain likely on Thursday. High 55. Rain likely Thursday night with a low of 48. Rain likely on Friday with a high of 58. And a slight chance of rain on Friday night. Low down to 42. And then back to sunny on Saturday with a high of 64, and Sunday also sunny, so looking good for uh, the weekend. H&R Block, for all those confusing tax law changes, they offer two words, they are open. H&R Block, open 8 to 8, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, Saturday, H&R Block, located in the Goodwill Shopping Center, Hillsborough Boulevard in Manchester. Call for an appointment or drop by their office at your convenience. Walk-ins are welcome, and welcome to the boys in the building. Howdy, boys. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. You are full of energy this morning, oh, about lucky. like me. I believe you got a haircut last week. Yeah, I did. Aren't you proud of me? Well, I mean, you always are neat. You keep your hair so neat. I know. Let I, me just say I look that. good, don't I? Yes. Yeah, thank you, Dave. Why does he care? Why does he care? He's just a caring person. Because you're the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. And you're a host, and I want, my, you know, you've been the host. I want you looking the very best you can. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome. I got pictures to show you in a minute. All right. Yeah. Got it. Got oh, have you got the one with the uh, when you had long hair? No, I got pictures of uh, your 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 granddaughter. Oh, what about yeah? Haley's on a mission yeah. trip right now, medical mission, and yeah. uh, she's really um, well. She's been busy because according to the pictures, she's been busy. Yeah, boy. I am so proud of her. She she'll be the first doctor in the family. Wow. Well, I great. hope is she going to be a psychiatrist? Well, no, but she'll probably, don't you imagine her being, she's going to be. Can she do be brain a, surgery? I think she's going to be the field of cancer is what she's really going to. Well, I was hoping but, that but she'd I'm be sh- a brain surgeon so she well, could look no, at yours and see if there's anything it. in there. Think about this. She won't have to. She'll know people that can take care of me, you know, like psychiatrists and brain surgeons. Was she going to do uh, cancer research or something like she, that? No, I think, I think she's going to be a actual doctor. But, I mean, she, of course, obviously will be doing the research, too. Where's she going to go? Well, she'll be a cancer. Well, I, she'll be, what, I don't know. What's that called? Oncologist? Yeah. Yeah, oncologist. Yeah. Well, I am yeah. so proud of that baby. Hey, and she raised, uh, you know, they had to raise so much money b- uh, before they went on the trip, and she, she did that. Did you give her a dollar? All she wanted. <laughs> Somebody said, what are you going to give her? I said, any, any amount she wants, if that's what it takes. But I didn't have to. She did it on her own. Well, good for her. Good She's like she is the most independent little girl though. Good for her. I'm proud of her. Max. Hey, Luck. Good morning. Welcome back. Thank you. Been, Welcome back. Been on two. <coughs> excuse me. Two week sabbatical. Really? <laughs> well, not, just good to have you back. Uh, you been on the no, beach? The, uh, per, no, it's been, prayer meeting. Uh, oh, well, two, two, wow. You, you, you must have been praying for David if it yeah. took two weeks. <laughs> well, it, is, am I going to be okay now? I mean, if you. Pray two weeks on me. I ought to be. I think I think you'll be all right. I think I will. Okay. All right. Ray's back with me. He's, he's here yesterday. He's, he's still he likes me so much. Yeah, he comes like back it. two days in a row. He's like still it, worth yeah. three bags, and it's not silver. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a good show today, and um, I didn't mean to cut in on. Of course, oh, no. of course we have. Of course, we've talked about it before, but uh, we're actually going to get this on film for uh, for Ray's dad. Boy, that that'll be fantastic. What are we doing, Ray? You're, well, I mean, you're the driver. S- you're over in the driver's seat today. We're going to show some pictures uh, of his history uh, uh, in the music when I he started better, and who, how he. Who who shows pictures of who? Uh, all of my dad, and I've got some of Lester Flat, and, and I've got some is, of Earl, and then and your dad's, dad's friends yeah. that Cur- he's made through the years. Cur- yeah, Curly, Curly Seckler. There you go. Oh, I tried this Curly yeah, Seckler day. I guess, yeah, yeah. Well, we need to probably mention that. Well, I told my uh, stepmother, she's 90 years old today. Well, happy uh, birthday. We celebrated it this past Sunday there. Oh, good. And uh, I told her I was going to be doing a television show, and she said, who's going to be doing a television show? I said, me. She said, you got any eight by ten glossies? I said, I got them ordered. <laughs> Did you tell her that we was going to have to start out with black and white and work our way up? Yeah, I told her we, we was just small potatoes. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't afford those color ones uh, yet. Well, cause yeah, well, we might be pricey. small potatoes, but we're in a big bucket. Uh, <laughs> there you go. All right. I uh, want to remind folks that you can watch this program on Charter Cable 193. 
That'll be at 6 p.m. tonight, 9 p.m. Fridays, and 3 p.m. on Sundays. So let's talk antique, uh, antiques, the uh, television version of the program. So, we'll All right, Ray, everybody. kick it off. All right. Ain't that what they say in the, in the music business, kick it off? Oh, I want to show this picture here. This is right. Dad and his brothers. All right, he's showing a picture to our television audience, and what this is is uh, Curly and his brothers, and uh, I'm talking about Curly Sackler, yeah, bluegrass well, legend. That was taken in 1941. 1941? 1941. Okay. This one here is an advertisement of some of the schools. Okay, an advertisement of the... What now? Is that in August? Yeah, let's talk about that. That's, that's, a, that's really a neat poster. Uh, it's, it was in August of uh, February of 1949 in Augusta, Georgia. The headliner was Hoke Jenkins and his Smoky Mountaineers, direct from uh, well, on WGAC out of Augusta, Georgia. He had Wiley Morris, radio's finest soloist, Reynolds Brothers, South's best duet, Curly Seckler, radio's gift to women. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And, yeah, wow. and Sleepy Brainstorm Goes Political and the Mountaineers Quartet, a clean show for the whole family starting at 8 p.m. Admission, 25 and 50 cents, tax included. Ain't tax that, included. <laughs> ain't that amazing? That's at the, uh, the uh, what theater? Uh, Estel. The Estel Theater in, in, in uh, uh, Augusta, Georgia. How about that? How about that? That's great. Tax included. His show after <laughs> Step up there. How are you? Well, he's showing a picture of uh, Curly on uh, stage. All right, let's talk about each one of these pictures. Right, come back over here with the. Yeah, come back over here. Yeah. Well, he's he's he's, he's, he's new to being the he's new at being the host. Yeah, but this uh this is a picture of, of Dad when he was with Charlie Monroe, and you'll notice he was playing a banjo instead yeah. of a mandolin yeah. back then, and uh, we. Finally located it somewhere. Who was playing the mandolin there with Charlie? Do you I know? That's, I want to say Tommy Scott, but I'm not positive. It looks like he. Yeah, I'd say it is. I believe that is Tommy Scott. Tommy went on to be a Hollywood producer of Wow Lash LaRue and them kind of folks. Wow. Yeah, he he. So he became a Western producer. Yeah, he Western. he produced a lot of movies. Huh. He just died this past year. Oh, yeah. He died because he was in a car he wasn't supposed to be driving. Okay, now his age. So so far, your dad hadn't got with uh, Flat and Scruggs yet. No, was it didn't. Early. This was the first professional job he had with after his brothers. And that was with who? he offered he offered dad eighteen dollars a week. And he took it. No, he said that wasn't enough money. So <laughs> what year was he that? Said that? You know that was back in the I believe thirty nine. I'm I'm not good with dates. Dad would correct me on this, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, he said they offered him $20, and he had never seen a $20 bill before. <laughs> he said, buddy, so he I'm, in. All over, huh? I'm in. $20. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> he always told about picking cotton. He said that's one reason he got in music, that cotton was rough. He just yeah, didn't want that yeah, cotton picking. Uh-uh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and take a break. We'll come back with some more in just a few moments, so stick around. You're uh, listening to... Let's talk antiques. The Jiffy Burger on the Hillsborough Boulevard in Manchester has been voted as having the best hamburgers in Manchester. Hometown atmosphere, historical memorabilia, and of course those great burgers, salads, chicken, and so much more. It's the Jiffy Burger on the Hillsborough Boulevard in Manchester. Call in orders at 728-4452. You can also order at the convenient outdoor curb service. Hamburgers are made the old-fashioned way. At the Jiffy Burger, Manchester's finest hamburgers. Open 730 until 9, Monday through Saturday. We would like to thank Dr. David Florence for supporting Let's Talk Antiques. See Dr. Florence at 804 Kalon Street in Manchester for all of your medical needs. Call 728-5522 for your appointment today. Most insurances accepted. We are Goody Two Scoops. I love Goody Two Scoops. A family-friendly, yummy dessert specialty shop in Tullahoma, Tennessee. We excel in self-serve frozen treats and our own incredibly tasty chef-baked creations. For frozen treat lovers, we offer frozen yogurt, ice cream custard, as well as gelato and Italian ice. 85 flavors that rotate each day. 
55 toppings, including fresh sliced fruit. For our baked good lovers, Goody Two Scoops offers a variety of fresh pastries at a hometown price. Our two certified culinary chefs design and create incredible cakes. We showcase our cakes, froyo cakes, cupcakes, cookies, pies, and chocolate covered strawberries offered fresh daily. I love for you. <laughs> Goody Two Scoops. Eight twenty-five, your time, and uh, you're joining us with Let's Talk Antiques this morning here on Thunder Radio, and also on the Charter Cable One Ninety Three. Always got to get this right. Six p.m. Wednesdays, nine p.m. Fridays, and three p.m. on Sunday afternoons. You can watch the program. YouTube, and YouTube. You can watch it. Uh, Facebook page. What yeah. else you want me to do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can go to my face. Well, I mean, there, there is no way that you can't see this show. Exactly. We've got you fixed up. Uh, talking about Curly Seckler today uh, with his son Ray and talking about all kinds of uh, memorabilia that he has uh, from the past. Ray, take well, it away. Hey, Ray, by the way, let's let the audience know, you know, a lot of people might not know your dad, but that's another Blue thing. Bluegrass legend. Yeah, but he's also a uh, Blue Glass, uh, Bluegrass uh, Hall of Famer, isn't he? Yes, uh, he was. Uh, when was he inducted into the Hall of Fame? Oh, four. Oh, in four. Oh, four. Uh-huh. That's awesome. And then I got to see him in the North Carolina Blue yeah, he's uh, there. Music, music Hall of Fame. He's also in Bean Blossom. Uh, uh, what's his name? Bill Monroe's uh, place up there. They got a. Oh, really? Yeah, they, they've got a museum up That's there. That's awesome. And uh, he's also in North Carolina and one in Virginia somewhere. How he about said that? they warned him in Wyoming. He said he hadn't lost nothing out there. <laughs> <laughs> Have we got another picture you want to yeah. show and then we'll talk about it? Now we'll show this to our TV audience and then. Ray's going to tell us a little bit about this one. Now, all these, all these will be friends of his. Okay. That uh, we got pictures. All right, you do one at a time, and we'll. Uh... Okay. Now, that was. Now who is that, Ray? That's Jim and Jesse, the McReynolds brothers. There, uh, Dad played with them uh, quite a few years ago. In fact, I, th I think they kind of had a partnership years ago, but uh, of course Jim is gone, but Jesse's still with us. And now, was... are they Hall of Famers too? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let me say this: that microphone in that picture—that's a good microphone. Isn't that something? Have you yeah. used one of those? Yes, lessons? sir, I have, and that thing is awesome. Huh? That they that's... don't make them like that anymore. Ain't that what y'all used to have? Uh, I used in one. the sixties. I used one a few years ago uh, that somebody had say back but I, I think that's yeah. the kind that you used oh, to see in the awesome. 60s at the radio station great sound all right great sound what we got all right let's hear about this picture okay that is mac wiseman i believe he was inducted just the last few months into was it hall of fame of uh, so. bluegrass or or was it I, I country con country music i think I it was country Okay. Anyway, uh, Mac Wiseman's been around as long as your dad. Uh, almost, oh yeah, almost. he was the first entertainer I ever saw. Really? I was five years old, I believe, when I he was at well, grandmother's house. They was uh, doing some practice and yeah. went on the road. Yeah. He had a very distinctive voice. Uh, he had uh, songs like uh, "Love Letters in the Sand" and oh, uh, that's one of his greatest. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, what's the next one, uh, Ray? We'll see what this one is all about. Okay. <clears throat> if you remember the movie "Old oh Brother Where Art Thou," oh, you're yeah. looking yeah. at Ralph Stanley there. Ah, yeah, Doctor Ralph. Doctor Doctor Ralph. <clears throat> he had an honorary uh, doctorate uh, put on him of a Doctor of Divinity or Theology from a college up in uh, Virginia. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Dad had said something about him one time, and he said something about Doctor Ralph, and he said, "Well, he's a good friend, but I wouldn't want wouldn't want him to doctor on me." <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, but lots of folks should remember him. Well, you know, we had him here in Manchester yeah. a few years ago. Yeah, Rot sure Rotary had him here. Sure did. <clears throat> is, is he still alive, Matt? Yeah. It, it, how old is he? He's 80. How old is Ralph Stanley Ray? I don't know. I don't have any idea. 
Yeah. Boy, this picture here now, this is this is great. Now, this is this, a that's a real classic right there. That this, is. This is the, 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 the Martha White bus, Flat and Scruggs. Okay, so and, now uh, we're getting to when your dad went to work. This you, was, yeah, dad went to work for Flat and Scruggs. About I don't what, know year? what years? Do you know what his salary was with Flat and Scruggs? More than 20? I have no clue. It had to be more than 20. Yeah, it was a little more than 20. <laughs> well, I see Paul Warren, uh, Josh Graves, and uh, the bass player from uh, Etowah, uh, uh, cousin Jake, Jake Tullock, who was a multi-talented guy. He could do uh, comedy, uh, sound effects. Uh, he was really, really what, what very kind talented. Of sound effects, man? He would do cars sp sputtering and uh, you know just That's comedy, a Jews comedy. Harp, didn't it? A Jew, had a Jew's harp. He was amazing. <clears throat> and uh, I think he could dance some and with Lester. Yeah. And uh, anyway, this is a great picture. That, I mean, when you think of uh, of those those people, Flat and Scruggs, I mean, when I think about it, I think about that bus. Right. And also, I think about... That bus the, traveled a lot of miles, didn't it? But I also think about the song that was on the Grand Ole Opry, and you back right with Martha White. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a replica of this bus by uh, Don Clark out of Gulletsville, and the inside of it is covered with nothing but pictures of... Uh, didn't Blue you say he's going to bring that to Manchester? Yeah, I thought when we got the museum open, mm -hmm. we had it already planned out to do it. Okay. They were going to help me. Uh, is, is it still? Are the <coughs> oh, museum, yeah, I can get them. still on track on doing that? Well, I, the museum part is kind of at a standstill at this point. I don't know. Well, what, I know how that is. Yeah. But anyway, I'm looking forward to it one day. Yeah. yeah. I hope I'm still around to see it. Well, yeah. You know, um, when that happens, is that, I guess they're lucky. You, you two are, you and Philip are the producers. Can we actually do the show on the bus? We could. Sure. All right. We could. Well, that would be neat. Uh, let's do it. All right. I can get Don to bring it down anytime. Okay. Anytime well, you we want to set that up. Well, we do the show sometime on the bus. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we it, it moves. Yeah, it's a good It's a good old bus. All right. What's our... You know buses, don't you? Right. Oh, right. I, 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 well. <laughs> I have nightmares about them. <laughs> yeah, Ray did a lot of driving for a lot of well-known bands. A lot of well-known. <clears throat> now, this picture got a lot of stuff this in it. Is... All right, Max. Oh, wow. All right, Ray. Uh, one that of, is one history of, there. One of the things that I want to get in real quick, Ray, is that what, what Lester Flat told your dad about... The, playing the mandolin. Yes. Tell 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 that. Uh, he said because he said sex and I know you're not. I don't know exactly how he said it, but you're not, you're not a real you're, good mandolin. You're not player. the greatest mandolin picker I ever saw, but I like the way you hold it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dad was uh, noted funny. for his high his, tenor his tenor, singing. his tenor. And if you'll notice in the the top there, there's two little boys. Yeah. One of them is Ricky Skaggs. That's the first time he was ever on television. How oh, old my goodness. There, right? I, think I think around five or six. Or six somewhere in that somewhere. neighborhood. I don't know. And this other one, I believe, is uh, Gary or Randy Scruggs. They're, they're a kid. Yeah. Which now, of course, it's well, I'll be. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of these, a lot of these pictures, uh, uh, there's Jake Tullock and your dad and Josh Graves. Looks like they're doing a commercial or a comedy skit. And it looks like a lot of them are on that, that morning television show out of Nashville. or, or Yeah, that was, was w, w, WSM. Who, yeah, who was the host on that, Mac? Do you remember? Uh, Ray? Uh, Tommy T. Uh, Tommy, T. Tommy Cotrera. T. Tommy, Tommy Cotrera. Yeah. Tommy Cotrera. Boy, he was a great, great yeah, announcer really and a great yeah. fella, too. He was really good. Dad and them always enjoyed working with him. He was as big a cut-up as they came. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great picture, though. It's got so many legends. All right, we've got another one that Ray is going to tell us about. Or okay, this is a really oh, a good picture. Hey, Max. We've worked our way to the top. This is going to be in color. That one is the reason Dad's in the Hall of Fame. Him and Lester were known as the, probably the best duet mm -hmm. that's ever been in bluegrass music. Mm -hmm. In fact, I've got an award here that was given to Dad. I'd read it. Okay. Wow, that's that's special. But, uh, we're going to talk about this award. That okay? Let's hear what it says. Right? Curly. This is John Ray Curly Seckler.
proclaimed by many, including the late Lester Flatt, as the greatest tenor singer in bluegrass music, 1935 to the present. And this was presented by Bluegrass Unlimited. Really? In February of 1990? Yeah, I'm sorry. That's, that that's, pretty, that's pretty special right there. Yes. That's pretty special. So his name was John Ray, and you're, and you're, you're Ray. Yeah, I got his middle name. When did, who tacked Curly on him? You know, there's a story about that. I don't actually know the whole story. Well, look here, though, Max. You remember when we was growing up that almost all the kids had nicknames? I, well, yeah, I'm sure yeah. back then they all had yeah. nicknames, well, too. Tink Driver not, was not responsible today. for a lot of those. There nicknames. you go. <laughs> yeah, but you don't see as many nicknames today. But when I was growing up, just, all, just about all the boys had a nickname of some kind. Yeah. Um, Dave? Not me. What was your nickname, Dave? I, I don't think he said one. Burger Boy. Uh, Burger Boy. That's it. Burger Boy. I'm gonna do two at a time on this one. Okay. You, uh, after we do these two, I'm we'll take a break. Okay. All right. We're gonna after this one here, we're gonna take a break. Okay. He's showing this to our audience. TV audience. Yeah. Okay. Well, hand them to the. There you go. All right, Max. This, okay. This one right here. Uh, Marty Stewart was still with him. And I think they had just done an album with Johnny Cash. I'm pretty sure that was the picture. Tater Tate, uh, the fella, Charlie Nixon, and I can't remember everybody's name saved my life. Earth but anyway, the Nashville grass. Who's in anyway, there? that was the, Kenny Ingram on banjo, right? Lester had asked Dad to continue on with the band when he passed away, and Dad promised him he would, and, and they they formed the the uh, group here that you see Nashville and this grass. other one was uh, this fella is one of the greatest guys in the world he sounded so much like Lester Flatt that they had a career for 15 more years together on the road yeah he was amazing that's, a, that's amazing to have a 15 Willis Spears one of the nicest people you ever meet in is fact he, he was at the birthday party is he party. still alive yeah he was at the birthday party the other day Sunday for my stepmother and the reason I ask that is uh, we're talking about some people with some age on them here now. Oh, right? yes. How old your, uh, your dad? My dad turned 95 this past yeah. Christmas, wow. and his wife turned, turned 90. 90. Uh, today's her birthday. Yeah. We celebrated yeah. it Sunday. She's, she's a young little thing, isn't she? Oh, she's a sweetheart. She's a sweetheart. Her and dad's been good for one another, though. Oh, I can yeah. say that. All right, let me take a break, and we'll come back with more yeah. in just a moment. Stick yeah. around. The Jiffy Burger on the Hillsborough Boulevard in Manchester has been voted as having the best hamburgers in Manchester. Hometown atmosphere, historical memorabilia, and of course those great burgers, salads, chicken, and so much more. It's the Jiffy Burger on the Hillsborough Boulevard in Manchester. Call in orders at 728-4452. You can also order at the convenient outdoor curb service. Hamburgers are made the old-fashioned way. At the Jiffy Burger, Manchester's finest hamburgers. Open 730 until 9, Monday through Saturday. We would like to thank Dr. David Florence for supporting Let's Talk Antiques. See Dr. Florence at 804 Kalon Street in Manchester for all of your medical needs. Call 728-5522 for your appointment today. Most insurances accepted. We are Goody Two Scoops. I love Goody Two Scoops. A family-friendly, yummy dessert specialty shop in Tullahoma, Tennessee. We excel in self-serve frozen treats and our own incredibly tasty chef-baked creations. For frozen treat lovers, we offer frozen yogurt, ice cream custard, as well as gelato and Italian ice. 85 flavors that rotate each day. 55 toppings including fresh sliced fruit. For our baked good lovers, Goody Two Scoops offers a variety of fresh pastries at a hometown price. Our two certified culinary chefs design and create incredible cakes. We showcase our cakes, froyo cakes, cupcakes, cookies, pies, and chocolate covered strawberries offered fresh daily. I love fighting. <laughs> Goody Two Scoops. All right, back here on the program, let's talk antiques on Thunder Radio. Also, Charter Cable Channel 193, and that is through P-Head Productions. And you can watch the program at 6 p.m. on Wednesdays, 9 p.m. on Friday nights, and 3 p.m. Sunday afternoons. As we return to the program, we're talking about the legendary Curly Seckler. And uh, Ray is here with us this morning, Ray Seckler. And 
talking about all the great memories of uh, some of the great things that happened during his career, right? Oh, you got another picture? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's... And he'll show this to our TV audience, and then he'll come back and talk to it okay. on the radio. Hmm. That's the uh, album. Uh, I think Johnny and them posed for that after they recorded that album that they done together. Well, Johnny Cash. Uh, that what year? Mr. Johnny Cash. That what year did they do It'd that? Be in the seventies, I'd say. I can't remember exactly. Johnny Cash. Legend. Yeah. And what's what's funny about Johnny? Let me say this real quick. That. Johnny is as popular today, if not more, mm -hmm. than he was back in the day because the young people have gone absolutely crazy over Johnny Cash music. Well, I mean, you, teenagers have just taken to Johnny Cash. Now this is a group picture of uh, Johnny with uh, well, Marty was still with Dad back in those days. Uh, Marty, uh, a great fellow, great great guy. But anyway, that's a group of the. What you what you say there, Max? You got any? Well, I, I'm having trouble with. I, I see Kenny Ingram and uh, is that was that Willie Spears or, or is he is he in there? Um, no, no, Willis is not in there. Okay, I'm having trouble with uh, with this guy. And this this is Charlie Nixon here, okay, and this that's is Nixon. Pete. Yeah. I believe his name Corum or something. I can't remember the name, but he was a bass player who for him this, for a while. Do you know who that guy was? Uh, no. And this guy? That's that's Kenny Ingram right there. That's what I thought. Yeah, and this is Tater Tate right there. Okay, that's Tater yeah. Tate. Mm -hmm. A great, great picture. Uh, this next picture will blow some minds. <laughs> I will show that off to TV again. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now this. Now Curly was uh, Marty Stewart's uh, best man, or he gave. What? Well, how did it? How did he? That's that's Cindy Cash. That's Johnny's. <clears throat> excuse me, youngest daughter. And, uh, and uh, Marty and her were married. married. Dad was the best man at the wedding. Yeah. Are they still married, Ray? No, uh, he's married to uh, Connie Smith now. Hmm. Yeah, he married Connie. Yeah. With Marty Stewart. This didn't last all that long, did it? I mean, it was. Just no, a, I don't. I don't know all the details on it, but no, it didn't last real long. I think Marty said one time they was more friends than they were lovers, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. Not I'm so not rushing, it's too much. No, you know, no. uh, excuse me. I mean, Marty hit it. Uh, you know, after he went out on his own and and yeah, he's very talented. Very, very talented guy. Still has a show. Okay. That yeah, picture there was taken at the Station Inn in Nashville. <clears throat> um, he was on Hee Haw for quite a while. What's his name? I can't even John Hartford. John Hartford. Uh, he was also a great fella. It, uh, he admired Dad a lot, and I'm sure Dad did him. They, he, he was a real, real fine person. And I know everybody will know who this one is. Let me see that one right there, Max. Some great memories. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, this is the, the father of bluegrass with Curly, Mr. Bill Monroe. Great picture. Me and, well, that is uh, one to hang on to there. Whew. Bill's son and I went to school together at Gillisville. James. I don't think either one of us learned a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> you attended, right? <coughs> well, you attended. Well, that's, yeah, that's important. At least, at least you went. This one's oh, also a classic to me, which is a, a precious thing. It's Dad, when he received his... Uh, induction into the Hall, Hall of Fame. Oh, that is special. That, that's his uh, thing that they give him on the bottom there, him holding it. And it, it was a special, special day in his life and all of the family, really. That is great. But he's one special person. You know, very, very nice. a, a little quick note while he's getting another one about John Hartford. John Hartford would go to Woodbury to play music with Billy Womack, who was one of the best fiddlers in the country. Billy Womack. And... Uh, and then he showed up out here, Lucky, at, at the fairgrounds, Lucky, one year. We had a really? we had a picking out at the out at the fairgrounds, just like a fiddler's convention, and John Hartford was out there just to be there to, to, to play with people. Wow, how about that? That's pretty neat. Yeah. All right. He's got another one. Okay. 
Oh, wow. Tell us about this. North Carolina. That's the North Carolina Hall of Fame plaque. Isn't it? Oh, that's nice. Uh, Curly Seckler inducted uh -huh. into North Carolina Music Hall of Fame in 2010. Golly. That is, that is very, spe very special there. Now, this, we have got a, a real situation. Bonnaroo's going to have these fellas out this year. The Earls of Leicester. Earls of Leicester. They have recreated the Flat and Scrubs mm -hmm. show. It's mm -hmm. unbelievable. They came to the nursing home, well, I'll say the uh, assisted living, how Dad and Eloise, his wife, are at, and put this show on before that nursing home. Really? I've never been so proud wow. and impressed in my life. So you said they're going to play at Bonnaroo this year? They are playing at Bonnaroo this year, yes. Do you know what day? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> they they received yet. a Grammy, didn't they, right? They, yes, they won the Grammy, and the album was dedicated to my dad. Which impressed me, it blowed How me away. That? Listen, Jerry Douglas, he played with Allison Krauss for a hundred oh, years. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the greatest. This man is is one of the nicest people you'll ever meet in your life. Mm -hmm. All them boys are. How about and that? And what's so amazing too, Johnny Warren is Paul Warren's son. He's a member of the group, mm -hmm. and it's it's just fabulous what's happening. The it's, the response uh, has been overwhelming. That's that play in you know, Yes, that, that's terrific. Well, anyway, Tim O'Brien is playing the mandolin, and uh, yeah. Well, they've got another fellow that's going to also be a part of the show now. That's doing part of Dad. When the other guy can't go, he's going. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that is. I forgot. So, do they tour? They, oh yeah, they they just been on a two week tour. You know, there's there's Cush, Charlie Cushman, who uh, plays now, the banjo. He's a very very good musician. Used to play with Carl Tipton. Hmm. Well, I was honored to be at that uh, thing at my dad's at the nursing home that day. Mm -hmm. And when the Earls of Lester, well, Eddie Stubbs was there. And I think there's not, nobody like Eddie Stubbs. This guy is just terrific oh, and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and a superhuman being. But he uh, uh, asked us if we'd come on the radio show that night. Well, when I got there, there was Brenda, Lester's daughter, and granddaughter, Tammy, and one of uh, Jake's. Uh, kids was there. Uh, he was he he was a probation officer for years in the state of Tennessee. Had a high position, but anyway, we were on the Eddie Stubbs show that night, and I we were all just it's so impressive, you know. And to see Brenda and them, I hadn't saw Brenda since she was a child. Mm. And, and well, I I saw uh, Tammy at the Lester Flat Day show last year, and that's the first time I'd seen her in many years too. But anyway, I'll show you a picture of that. Uh, we'll do that, and then we need to uh, take one more short break, and then we'll come back and wrap up the show here in just a moment. You're listening to Let's Talk Antiques on Thunder Radio, also watching it on Charter Cable, Channel 193 with PET Productions, oh, sorry, and we appreciate you doing that as well. We'll be back. The Jiffy Burger on the Hillsborough Boulevard in Manchester has been voted as having the best hamburgers in Manchester. Hometown atmosphere, historical memorabilia, and of course those great burgers, salads, chicken, and so much more. It's the Jiffy Burger on the Hillsborough Boulevard in Manchester. Call in orders at 728-4452. You can also order at the convenient outdoor curb service. Hamburgers are made the old-fashioned way. At the Jiffy Burger, Manchester's finest hamburgers. Open 730 until 9, Monday through Saturday. We would like to thank Dr. David Florence for supporting Let's Talk Antiques. See Dr. Florence at 804 Kalon Street in Manchester for all of your medical needs. Call 728-5522 for your appointment today. Most insurances accepted. We are Goody Two Scoops. I love Goody Two Scoops. A family-friendly, yummy dessert specialty shop in Tullahoma, Tennessee. We excel in self-serve frozen treats and our own incredibly tasty chef-baked creations. For frozen treat lovers, we offer frozen yogurt, ice cream custard, as well as gelato and Italian ice. 85 flavors that rotate each day. 55 toppings including fresh sliced fruit. For our baked good lovers, Goody Two Scoops offers a variety of fresh pastries at a hometown price. Our two certified culinary chefs design and create incredible cakes. We showcase our cakes, froyo cakes, cupcakes, cookies, pies, and chocolate covered strawberries offered fresh daily. I love <laughs> Goody Two Scoops. Continue on with Let's Talk Antiques on 
Thunder Radio. Mm -hmm. All right. Take you take your book and show what kind of book you got there. Yeah, I got the got the <laughs> got the Bible. The book. Is the book. The yes, book. Sir. Yes, sir. The book. And look at the a lot of. Okay. All right. Now, this uh, you go to work. This Bible was presented to Curly uh, by Marty Stewart in uh, first in 1983, and then he wrote other letters to Curly in the front on uh, diff different years. This was uh, he wrote this in uh, when he first gave it to him March 31st of 1983. He says, "Dear Sick." To know you is to know one of the finest men on God's earth. I love you. As Lester used to say, you're a trooper. But the best times I ever had with you was when we first started going to church together. You have said that I had an influence on you turning your life around. Well, you don't know how good that makes me feel. But you and your day-to-day -day solid walk with God has given me strength so many times when maybe you didn't ever know I was watching you. Sick, you are a solid servant of our God. I only hope that as I grow older that I can become more like you. I love you, Marty. P.S. Could you loan me $10? <laughs> <laughs> that's him. Oh, that's great. That is great. Um, d Marty still uh, communicate with him some? Yes. Uh, they uh, uh, have discontinued filming that TV show, but they're running reruns. I don't yeah. know what his plans are, but him and Connie sold their mansion, according to what Dad said, out there for over two million. So I guess they're not hurting too bad. No, they got a little. Nah, they'll they're make probably going to move into a real nice trailer somewhere. Yeah, they'll build a double wide. Yeah, double wide <laughs> with a knockout. You know, like for a yeah. dime, for a little, like a window seat, like a, yeah. a window uh, pull out, man. pull you out, know, pull out. There you go. <laughs> a lot of people may not remember all this, but I, th that old theme song about them Martha White Biscuits, boy, Dad still, when he would do a show, he would always bring up Martha White. Isn't that something, though, it's that, amazing. Uh, that, you know, that's one of the things that he remembers. That, that, yeah. Well, you know, you know would what? Be something like that. So do I, Lucky. One yeah, of, I remember. I mean, it's it's funny how things stick in our mind. Well, one of the ladies up at City Hall, I, I went through the drive through just to pay my light bill, I mean, my water bill. And the lady said, there's some ladies want to meet you. And they just came to the window. And one said she was kin, I believe she said she was kin to Cohen Williams, who was the president of Martha White back then. Hmm. And I remember Dad and them saying they eat well when he was with them. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they did. I can uh, imagine. That's, that's pretty <clears throat> special. Well, Ray, thanks for sharing all this with hey, us. Hey, thank God I have it to. Yeah, uh, really. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. That well, is awesome. I, I, I have wish, a dad like that. And I wish you would have bought one of his suits. I had it, and, and I meant to bring it. And I apologize. If, if it'll please everybody, I'll bring it next week. Just You can put it on the front show. and then Yeah, we'll, let's do that. But I will bring it, yes. All right. That would be nice. That would be nice to see. But uh, uh, you can you can tell him now. We've, we've, we've spent an hour about him. On, on I'm gonna do better than that. I'm gonna take him on these videos. Ah, okay. Well, Get that Philip depends. Work right. with us. That depends. Uh -oh. If the producer gets him to us. Oh yeah. Philip? Okay. Right. We got to depend on Philip. Yeah. All right. He's we, one behind right now. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. We appreciate y'all uh, this morning on Let's Talk Antiques, and we'll be back with you uh, next week here on the program every Wednesday from eight until nine. Thanks so much for tuning in. And here's something a little special for you as we go out today. 